Game Boys. Oi, oi, how's it going? I like that cat. <laughs> Sleeping away by the fire. That's the perfect life right there. It is. And we're playing Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. I'm a huge No More Heroes fan. What about you, Lee? You played them? I played the first one. Not, I think I started the second one, but didn't finish it. Both. See, I love both of those games. This game, like those two, has had very mixed reviews. I've played a little bit of it. What I've played of it so far, I really enjoyed, but I thought it'd be good to play together. Yeah. Let's have a new game. Now, do we want bitter, mild, or sweet? Um, Whatever. Just stick on normal. We'll just go for mild. <laughs> Don't want it too hard, because we will just die. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a top-down sort of co-op action-adventure game, whereas the other Normal Heroes games are obviously just like a third person, person? person hack and slash game, but this is a little different. But it's co-op, so we can play together and have a nice time. And it looks incredibly 80s so It's far. very 80s. <laughs> Thought I'd say nothing so we could appreciate that nice uh, <laughs> Death Drive song. So the idea of this game is the dad of Bad Girl from No More Heroes 1 has finally tracked down Travis Touchdown after he killed her. And in a fight between the two of them, they get sucked into the Death Drive Mark II, the console that was... Uh, Probably non-existent. <laughs> but even the story of the game is about that. No one actually believes this uh, console exists. But they're stuck inside it, and they've got to work together to get out. And that basically means lots of hacking, slashing, double dragon-esque sort of co-op beating folk up. So, that's what we'll do. It reminds me of, um, there's a Dreamcast game called Cannon Spike, which is like a top-down sort of hack and slash sort of shooter, sort of hybrid. It's very much like this. Nice Terminator reference. There. <laughs> yeah. Shame he gets his clothes back on and doesn't oh. have to go get them. <clears throat> so first thing we've got to do is we've got to get you into the game. So for some reason the game doesn't actually just bring you in unless I say to start the co-op. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so you're player one. I'm player two. Wait, I think you should be player one. It, it makes no difference. Press. So you are Travis Touchdown. I am Badman. 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 I'm in. So I have a baseball bat. You have the beam katana. We're basically exactly the same character, except I'm a little chubbier. Just like real life. <laughs> Sounds like Animal Crossing as well. It does sound like yeah, Animal what, Crossing. Wait, wait, wait. Or like Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> 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 Can we skip these? Um, yes. Oops, pressed it too many times. There we go. This way, please. The coins let us buy new t-shirts for the characters. Is it joint coinage or is it... It is joint coinage. So we're not fighting for, no, for, mo for moolah. We even share a, a pool of XP that we have to split ourselves for leveling up. Oh, so okay. We have to work it out between us. So... We've got a little tutorial section to do. It's pretty simple, but we're going to do a few episodes of this, so we'll get through the tutorial pretty quick. Basic attack, just the left-hand button. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the tutorial will last longer if we fuck around, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> if you hold the basic left-hand button and just move around, you'll just do, like, lots of slashes. Oh, that's quite good. That's your basic kick the shit out of small <laughs> enemies attack. It's pretty, pretty simple. All the guys are these horrible little skeleton-faced things, which... Boogoo Boogoo Spotnik, was he called? Probably. <laughs> so the top button's your heavy attack. You don't hold it. It's just... You wail on him with it. Mm. Pretty satisfying. So if you want to recharge your weapon, you click the left stick on the right controller to go into, like, a recharge mode, and then you shake the right-hand controller. you got to skip the start of first, so... There you go. I didn't need much charging. And we're ready. So you basically have to wank the controller <laughs> <laughs> to get Travis to wank his beam katana. Basically, this is teaching us how to jump. <laughs> Just charging up my katana. Teaching us how to jump because <laughs> I don't know. Do people need to learn that? I'm sure you'd figure that out. But here we are. Welcome to 2019. <laughs> I do find some tutorials are a bit patronizing. Yeah. It's like. The first thing you do when you pick up a controller is batter all the buttons. Figure out what does out. what. Well, we did because we're old, but maybe <laughs> now you have to be told. Okay, so jump and attack. The left on the tag, the right one. Just a little dash. 
Also useful for getting out of the way of shit tons of enemies if you get a bit swarmed. What, just jump away? Yeah, you can kind of just dash away. Can you double jump? No. You cannot. And if you do the heavy attack, it's like a ground pound. There you go. Nailed it. In the game at this stage, you just like, alright, I see, you've played a video game. <laughs> you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> you know you know how to play a video game, so dodge with the right hand button. Again, pretty useful. You have to dodge through the shield. Oh, no, only one of us had to do it. It's fine. I'm grabbing all these coins. Just in case it does. Grabbing coins. <laughs> <laughs> just in case they are separate. Exactly. <laughs> coins here. Grabbing coins. And through we go. It's a horde of little bad ones. <laughs> Something satisfying about just mowing them down. Is... Is this how this whole game is? Kind of. It it because it looks different to the first one. Yeah, it's because it's all supposed to be inside a video game. It changes up quite a bit. There's a bit of oh, variety okay. to it. But the the bulk of the gameplay is like this sort. Oh. Of, oh. So yeah, once you've got fully powered, you can basically keep hammering the R button to do a special attack, or in co-op, we can do a special attack called the Choco Banana Crepe with Caramel Ice Cream, oh, God. which we both hold the R button down. And then once a beam flows between us, we let go, and we'll do like a big screen killing attack. Oh. Basically, R is your special move. Try Tra it out up ahead. You can see Travis is holding out a little sign saying, R, that's how you know it's ready. So yours is ready if you want to try out on these guys. Just keep hammering the R button. Uh, the bumper, not the trigger. That's basically it. Thing to bear in mind is we're going to get power-up moves later. We can hit each other with them. We don't damage each other, but some of them, like, you throw an enemy and stuff like that. We can okay. accidentally throw each other. And you got to take a shit to save. <laughs> of course you do. So, who do you want to see drop a save? Do you want to see Travis or Batman? Obviously Travis. Travis is the nice-looking boy. A nice deuce save. <laughs> Go drop a big save. Unreal Engine Why don't you get to wipe his ass with the Joy-Cons? <laughs> Why doesn't he wipe his ass at all? <laughs> he's wearing gloves as well. Oh, of... but is this a, is this a Japanese game? Yeah, he's probably got one of those good toilets. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Also, as we've established, it's set inside a video game. <laughs> he probably doesn't need to wipe his ass. It's just digital poops. <laughs> Di digi dumps. <laughs> skip digi this. Dumps. <laughs> AKA the shit Pokemon. <laughs> digi dump. A shit Pokemon. So this game's had reviews, by the way, all the way across the board. Uh, we both need to charge our weapons. I've forgotten how to charge. Uh, click the left stick and then wanky controller. Oh, that's it. you got to stop. Click. There you go. You don't have to hold click. Just press it once. Oh, to go into chat. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> but it's had like reviews from like as little as like 2 out of 10 through to like solid 8. But then... It's just like reviewers just not getting it. I don't know. I can see why people uh, sort of split about it, but it's very much like all the stuff Suda does. It's... It's quite odd, it's quite quirky. All his games split opinion. Right, do you want this? This is the I'll first power-up. Okay. Because I'll probably f mess it up. <laughs> this is the one that lets you throw enemies around the screen. So that means you are now going to get constantly thrown around the screen <laughs> by me. Sod a bug. Okay, so special moves are L and then one of the face buttons, so I'll do it to this guy. <laughs> there we go. Then we can just finish him off. You don't have to beat up the tutorial woman. <laughs> <laughs> Your special is ready, by the way, if you want to. Oh. I like how Travis like, actually charges his weapon, but because I'm playing as Badman, who just has a baseball bat, he just chugs a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he's chuffed. Chuffed! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've never heard that phrase since, like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Early 90s? <laughs> showing our age, though. <laughs> You're showing your age. I didn't say chuff. Yeah, oh, you said our... you didn't remember it from the 90s. <laughs> so, so there you go. Do you want to try our special? So hold down R until the ring goes around you. But don't let go yet. Oh. I see. I didn't let go. No, I just figured it out. You don't let go. It's just once we both do it, it does it. <laughs> All right, but okay. you see that white beam that came between us? That would basically insta-kill pretty much any enemy. Except for bosses. So if we run, if I'm on the other end of a load of bad guys, exactly, you got to kind of arrange yourself. Right. Just chug a bit. Oh god, there's tons of. This would have been a good place to use it, <laughs> but I think we chose to use it well, just in the middle of nowhere. Yep. On no enemies. Oh yeah. Let's smash down on these little dicks. 
I like the ground pound move a lot. <clears throat> it's very... It's, it's like sort of hack and slashy so far. Yeah. Which is kind of nice. Yeah, it's, it's pretty old school. It reminds me of like... Devil May Cry. I was gonna say like Dreamcast era sort of games. I don't oh. I don't mean that in a bad way, but this is the sort of thing I can imagine being on the Dreamcast. It's quite simplistic, but it's good fun, but it's really I can imagine it as an arcade game. What was that other one? Bangayo. Oh, I love that. That was amazing on the Dreamcast. Bangayo was like a uh, scroll and shooter though, right? Like um Yeah, I don't know why that just came into my head. I guess it's just another one of those games <laughs> that didn't seem to fit the system visually. Like Bangayo looks like a Mega Drive game. Okay, that's just more cash to buy more t-shirts. Can I jump up there? No, we're, we're far too small. Oh. Jumping in video games is not our speciality, <laughs> is it? Okay. Oh, a box. <laughs> Fucking A! Oh, she's upside she's down. She's upside down and she's freaking out. Good. Oh, imagine if we'd missed that jump. <laughs> what? <laughs> Being known as a hardcore gamer gives Travis a hard on. Stop beating up the tutorial. Oh, I thought it was a bad guy spawning. <laughs> hey, Travis, you got a boner? Also, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems like a good place to leave it for now, and then we'll Is continue the this tutorial? next time. Yeah, and then we go into sort of the main gameplay. So, till next time, where we'll pick this up. Yeah. Happy gaming. Happy gaming. <laughs>